there's another at the very one? back. There's one at the very back. Okay, um, I'll go hop up to that one. Will okay. It, will it be able to? Well, up yeah. And over the ship. I mean. Uh, do you think it's a good idea, we're kind of, Fern? We're kind of yeah. Yes. Uh, absolutely. Okay. Yes. Uh, okay. So you go ahead and rush up to the poop deck on the very back of the ship to where there's the final, the third ballista. Um, you go ahead and load in the harpoon yourself. Mm-hmm. All right. <laughs> <laughs> It'll take you a minute. Uh, go again, 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 other side! I'm going to try to shoot from the back. Oh, boy. So try to get a, a tail situation or something, whichever is, is you know. About now you're set. It's going to be a more difficult shot, okay. but I'm here for it. Go ahead and roll Let's go. Never know. Can you guide yourself? <clears throat> I guide myself. Okay. Go. Good call. Okay, I'm adding six. Yes, to whatever you roll. Okay. Plus guidance. Where, 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 D4. 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 <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, that would be uh, 20 total. You needed an 18. Oh! So with that, it goes off the front. And at this point, the ship's pulled up and it's listed to the side to where you just you didn't really know where it was anymore. You couldn't see it. You just kind of shot and hoped. Here we go! <laughs> you all watch it cruise off the top and then suddenly, it pulls tight. You hear now this like deep reverberant growl. As that chain tugs, the boat begins to list from the back. Yeah, that's bad. And you watch as the captain goes, God shit! And reaches down, and underneath the, the wheel, uh, there are there's a second set of controls that handle the the intensity and strength of the broomstone upon the ship itself. You watch as they reach down and pull one heavy leather lever from there and just yank back. As they do, you see the central gem that sits uh, in the middle of the ship begin to glow brightly, and you all feel the wood of the ship begin to vibrate. Things begin to just clatter and shift. As it does, the the ship kind of locks into place and continues to move forward, but now it is anchoring it at its current like angled listed state, and the ship begins to slow. FCG, you want some copper? Yeah, sure. <laughs> oh, <it's got> <laughs> oh, so weird. Does FCG have a tongue? Ding, ding, ding. It just goes like. Ah, yeah, do you have like a silver flap yeah. for a tongue? Let's just say yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's now canon. Uh, but it's made of flesh. <laughs> oh God, <laughs> no! All of a sudden, we only no, no. no. think that's, that's actually alive. Oh, they, were, oh, they were a cyborg the whole time. I hate this. <laughs> He's slowly coming back. Uh, flesh tongue FCG can't hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, set sail. Are you we gotta crying? get back on the road. <laughs> All right. Can I ride down this time? Ride down? What do you mean? Well, like you know, Ladna got up. And she got the first one. Can I? Can I get numero dos? I wasn't planning on flying again just yet, but why not? You're more than welcome to try to climb on my back as we as we head on down. Are you gonna fly? No. Take the piggyback ride, Chutney. No, I don't want to spoil it. I'll wait. <laughs> Next time I fly, though, you can come with me. Ooh! Deal. All right. Side note, it's when could you fly? When did that happen? I don't know. I've never done it before. Just it, it, like seeing Orem fall off the side, it just <laughs> kind of triggered something. Thought it started when it did. Maybe just being on an airship, your body just acclimated. Maybe. And wouldn't it like, be funny if I could do fly. it all along and I just never, you just never done it, Maybe trusted? If we gave you like a fish to hold, you could then suddenly breathe underwater or something. I like where you're going with this. That's a great things, idea, yeah. yeah. Experiments. I feel like we had just given you a little push on the Skyway. We could have had this going so much earlier. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I'm Imogen Timalt, I thought and this. It. It's jackass. <laughs> <laughs> you pass by what looks to be one like tall, lanky, red male tiefling who just kind of like his head hangs down between his long shoulders that kind of point out the sides, and his arms kind of just swing from side to side. And he just kind of mad dogs you as he passes, and as he kind of glances over at you, Imogen, kind of goes, <laughs> and just walks on past. Um, you okay? st- it's nothing compared to you, Lodna. It's think, nothing. It's it was just weak. Yeah, it was weak. clearly has a tiny pink penis. A tiny pink. 
Yeah, I go and I remove one of his Achilles <laughs> tendons. Jesus. <laughs> 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 what? Yeah, bitch. <laughs> Are you? No. Okay. Pretty <laughs> <laughs> straight. Uh, and it just kind of has this this oddly alluring trash heap in the air kind of a vibe <laughs> that also cool. is weirdly pretty. <laughs> Asshole. Wait, is this what I'm supposed to do with this? Yes. Oh! Boom. Okay. <laughs> you how? What the? <laughs> when did you? <laughs> I don't know. That's what Make the your time to shine. <laughs> <laughs> and that is, oh, that's uh, 11 points of bludgeoning damage. Ooh. As it comes down and slams you in the shoulder, you almost fall to one knee. You're kind of grasping the edge of your blade at the ready. Um, that's going to finish their go. Ashton, you're up with Fern on deck. Cool. Uh, I'm going to charge full speed. Let's see, where, who can I reach with my 40 feet? Nice. Of psychic damage. Very nice. And it's Very nice. To the other. And moreover, on its next turn, it must choose whether it gets a move, an action, or a bonus action. It only gets one of the three. You got it. Okay. On a successful ta- save, the target ma- takes half as much damage. Okay. So it would have taken seven points. Seven points. The other right. guy. Seven damage to the other figure. Got it. And I haven't been doing this. <laughs> and we'll oh, come man. to that next session, um, uh, because because uh, it's getting a little late, and uh, we need to get home. It's oh, having an early morning. Um, but uh, there's a like a hawk outside. <laughs> is it a is it a beautiful bird or sort of a mangy bird? It looked did it look like a normal hawkish from it looked, the? It looked like a normal hawk. I mean, it looked like your standard fair hawk. It looks like there was a nest. Didn't seem to be made of fingers or anything. Just, you know, normal shit. So it's it's got a nest here. Seemed like it. Well, there seemed to be something that it was... Yeah. Yeah. Not mange. Not... I mean, I'm no judge of hawk, but... <laughs> All right. Seemed pretty like a basic ass. If it comes in here, kill it. Would it come in? I don't know. <laughs> but it doesn't live here. Do they fucking intrude like that? I'll open it up and wear it like a hat. <laughs> if it's the one I'm thinking. The one you're thinking? It doesn't, need st- a, it doesn't need sound sc- like it, though. It doesn't, it doesn't sound like it, though. I need a story. What happened? Well, now I can't sleep. <laughs> <laughs> you start with, it was a night like this one. Hold on. <laughs> There's a map like this one. Oh, God! <laughs> Except it was the night when everything changed. There's a bird. And there's a bird that, that hates me. It wants me dead or worse, humiliated. Why, FCG? Why? I don't know. I don't know what I did to it. But it hates me and won't let me let me alone. It's unrelenting. It chases me everywhere I go in my in, in the in the waking hours, in the evening hours. It haunts me. Take my hand. I won't let this hawk take you. Well, it's not a hawk. I that's why, that's why I like, I don't think this son of a bitch. Uh, that's why I don't think this might, might not be it. So. My <laughs> chisel is yours. All right. I swear. Thank you. Are we bonded now? Oh. <laughs> Oh, is that what you were trying to do? No. <laughs> I'm showing, I'm showing genuine interest in you. Oh, oh, yeah. no, I think that's very, that's very nice of you. You were trying to, trying to help me there. Did this, did this creature chase you out of this place before? No, it chased me around. It's always overhead, waiting for me to expose myself. Understood. Mm-hmm. I may you use I may use you as bait, but no, please don't. We'll get it. No, it's okay. The less you know, the better. 
Don't tell the others. They'll think that this is foolish, but... What, being scared of a hawk? It's not, <laughs> I'm not scared of the hawk. I'm, I just don't know what it wants from me. <laughs> And also, I, it's not a hawk. I can't imagine what it would want. <laughs> well, if you if you recall or recollect any more details, it's got a name. Oh, <laughs> you lead. What is? It? Well, I named I named it. Named it's named Shithead. <laughs> because it shits on my head whenever it sees me. Oh my god. Okay, you know, I've been around for a minute, and I feel like your experience could be a shared one. Don't tell the others. No, I, I won't. There this are, is you and me. Thing. There are a group of people that have made it through the same experience that you have. But I will. This will just be you and me until shithead comes no more. down. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Does he have any markings, a color? He's mangy. Is he missing an eye? He's missing some some feathers. Okay. He has hate in his eyes. Has he got both of his feet? I think so. Okay. He's large. Did he give you a, does he have a particular, like, squaw or cry? That, yes. Okay, you'll let me know if you hear it's it. It's horrifying. Okay, you call it out. What's our code word if you hear it in the distance? Because I may not be as attuned to it as you are. Shithead? Shithead, okay. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I, got it. I got your back on this. And my head. Yeah, and your head. All right. And keep that dome squeaky clean. <sighs> All right, thank you. Oh, shit. Head. Sleep, sleep, gentle FCG. <laughs> sleep. I immediately look at Pate and Sashimi from where I place them next to me. Do they move? Are they in a... Um, <laughs> you know, erotic position. Uh, actually, no. They they seem comfortably still basking in the afterglow. <laughs> <laughs> I just kind of look at them and I, I wink and I'm like, I was tired last night too. <laughs> I, see, I, I see Lada doing this and I say, oh, it, I see you're focused. Mm. It seems like it's missing something, doesn't it? Oh, I was yeah, working last night. Oh. I have something for you. <laughs> So I started oh, no. on your request for, you know, a, a girlfriend for, for Pate, <laughs> but then you picked up that piece of shit. So I just figured, I don't know how domesticated they want to be, but I figured if they wanted to explore more of like an official thing, this is from that tree in Eaton Square, and I just figured they could, you know. Oh, you see, you see her, her lip quiver. <laughs> I just wanted a more rustic approach, you know, not as refined. It's beautiful. They'll carve their own story. <laughs> it reminds me of the shacks that Pat Tay and I stayed in when we traveled across Taldore. And uh, I love they have a shack of their own. Thank you so much. Oh, you're so welcome. Oh, you're very tall. This is, this is very awkward. <laughs> They deserve happiness. They do. You know? And that way they can do things that you seem to want them to do behind closed doors out instead of out in the open. Like, their privacy is oh, important yeah. to a healthy relationship. Walls, you know, they also yes. get creative. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Good luck around forever. You can just throw it in the hall or whatever. It's your, it's your call. <laughs> I just kind of go over and I shove it in their faces. <laughs> <laughs> Look what he made you. Look what you have. <laughs> Stop looking at me! <laughs> <laughs> All right, gathering yourselves and your materials and tools and weapons and goods. Uh, what are you off to? You glance down. You're, you're passing by some of the ramshackle buildings, and there is a, a couple of like larger protrusions of stone and rock. And there's an alleyway that leads behind where you can see like tents and some some left scrap and garbage. Um, and you see somebody standing there. Uh, who's kind of in shadow, you can't really make out their details, and you see other figures just kind of beginning to encircle around them. They have weapons out. You see one kind of standing up on the stone area, who's just kind of like, hands out in front, rubbing them, and you see other figures, weapons drawn, encircling them. Uh, yeah, that's some shitty bullshit. And so at that point, you hear a voice call for help. It's very <laughs> In which, it was a very, very quiet call very for quiet help. quiet voice? Um, but if I could have, <laughs> there it is. Over there. Somebody help me! 
<laughs> uh, let's, and if, what a smoky voice. Indeed, as the voice shouts, uh, Erica, if you wouldn't mind joining us at the table. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. 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 Sorry, let me move my doll here. <gasps> it's beautiful. Isn't it? Beautiful. <laughs> They're going to be so happy. <gasps> <laughs> cool. Let's see how that turns out. <laughs> Oh, more, more. Yeah. So, you're good, you're good. did you move? No. Oh, you're good. If you would uh, describe who they see in, in the middle of them defending themselves, um, yes. you see a very slight, wayfish-looking elf. Clearly, you can tell by the pointy ears. Um, they have uh, close cropped black hair, uh, tousled a bit. Um, they have uh, armor, the color of the autumn. And that's clearly in disarray. Um, and they have uh, a rapier by their side that they're clutching guardedly. The rapier has shards, what look to be crystals, and uh, interwoven metal barbs on the hilt. Uh, they have a tattoo climbing up their arm of the ocean waves, but rendered out in polygonal fractals. Mm. Um, and the, she looks very, very afraid. That's what I actually just I said. want to live there! Uh, it's so cool! Oh, I've awesome. always wanted to be at the table because Matt brings out, like, a, a battle map, like he's bringing out a cake that he's just big for his <laughs> He's very proud of me. It's like, valid. Look what I brought! It's, it's valid. valid. I look up at the stranger on top of the building. Uh. Okay, like, you, um, you wanna get out of here? Yeah, yeah. I start climbing out. I'm so, so sorry to have inconvenienced you. I promise that I am normally quite a capable warrior. Make an athletics check. Okay. Oh, no. oh God. Third story yeah. roof. <laughs> Come on, baby. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Yes. It's two. Yeah. Plus. That's a two. Welcome to the table. Right as you finish the phrase, yeah. being quite a, quite a capable warrior. One of the edges comes off. You only fall ten feet for a, a meager five points of legendary damage, but the your new friend kind of whack, hits the ground dust. Uh, oh, are you okay? I am fine. It's just more embarrassing than anything else. No, no, no. There's nothing yeah, to be embarrassed about. Oh. <laughs> Lon is laughing and clapping. I just I get I, I stand up and I dust myself off. I go, thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Mm. Oh boy. You're welcome. Oh. 